Okay, sorry. I don't know. I literally had to restart the phone. Google is not like a, what do you call it? The the noble hotspot. Like Verizon has a name for it. It's something where they provide like mobile hotspots. That's not, I don't know. I just trust you to Google because they can do no wrong in terms of search. But I think Verizon is doing a much better job in terms of like, uh, mobile service so I think I'm gonna figure out a way to go back to Verizon because yeah this phone it's it's nice I do like the pixel camera but besides that it's giving me nothing okay anyway so we were talking about why Selena Gomez had to go on live and basically describe to everyone uh, her weight gain like she so so let's I was giving context and then we got cut off so the way that like Rihanna or Beyonce, how she's like beautiful and impactful to us, that is the way that a lot of like Latinx girls feel about like Selena Gomez or like Shakira or J Lo. Now this is fine. I just really feel like um, it's important to have context and realize we all live in the same world. So like yes, the way that Selena Gomez is a. a Selena Gomez is a very successful woman, right? Like she she sells makeup. She is an actress in television shows. She has been a child star on the Disney show. All of these things are true. None of these things are not. All of these things are true. All of these things are great. At the same time, Selena Gomez is not physically attractive. You can say what you want. You can have feelings. You could be like there are tons of men in the world who have wives who look just like Selena Gomez. To those of us who are into beauty and fashion, like she literally has a beauty line though. So that's why I feel like people who are covering beauty get to talk about this or have a right to talk about this without it being like racism. Like there are people who are physically attractive and there are people who are not. I literally put just, I only put like five photos to be kind of respectful of just demonstrating how Selena Gomez is not attractive, but this is a point of view like and the thing that really just kills me in these like really toxic ways are especially like black males they do this thing where they try to like make us all believe that these like latinx latinas or something are so beautiful and you know what selena gomez and her family members think that she's beautiful whoever her boyfriend is he thinks that she's beautiful but we don't all have to agree. We don't all agree and let the internet have its like perspective. And I think like some of y'all just really be missing because y'all get chewed out. Especially like the ones who've been coming for like black babies. The ones who've been online being like, Rihanna has an ugly baby. When y'all get to say that and nobody that's not hate speech and it's not like shut down, we get to say that ugly ass Selena Gomez is ugly facts like everybody gets to say their shit like just stop with the cancel culture we all get to feel away and that's just a thing so she i think she got just chewed out so bad and i think it was also like sometimes you can make an argument you can be like oh it's the angles <laughs> oh no it's because i was turned right oh no it's because i was turned left oh it's because whatever you just make up some shit oh it's because i did I don't know, insert whatever. And you'll be like, that's why the picture looked bad. But I think what happened is like, and this is, I think so many of us were not following her. So we didn't even know that this was a thing, but I, it, it got so major because the internet will internet. And like when hashtags go viral, they can get pretty viral. So I think what happened is like so many people who actually like her were like seeing these like derogatory comments about her that actually were true it's almost like if i were to, in the same way i keep using this example but if i'm sitting here saying i have a green jacket on like you see the jacket is green right like if other people feel like the jacket isn't green that doesn't mean that the jacket isn't green y'all see me with the green jacket it's green it is green so when we're literally sitting there saying like selena gomez is fat and ugly that's what it is and the proof is in the pudding she was on the TikTok being like i'm not a pretty model Yes, Selena Gomez, that's true. It's okay. Like Roseanne Barr, remember when she got canceled for whatever and people were like, we never liked her anyway? That was true. <laughs> we weren't just saying that because she got canceled. Like the cancellation was like some people had a problem with whatever she said or her opinion. I don't think, I didn't care. Like I like when like 
ugly fat white people come out and say problematic shit like i i think it's i think they should keep going with it like maybe if your opinion changes and you say something else and you're like oh i've grown to like now feel this different way but if that's the way like she voiced what she really felt and she has a right to feel that way i think it's just important for us to like really know that that's how she feels so that we can be like, ooh, okay, ooh, okay. In the same way, like, the cancel culture goes all the ways. So to all the people who are inspired by Selena Gomez, y'all should keep being inspired by her. Like, don't let her ugliness detract you from, like, supporting her. You should support ugly people because, like, that post was real. Like, so many of the Mexican moms in the world look just like that. There's an entire, what is it, Latin America where everybody looks like that. A whole continent of ugly people. I told y'all. <laughs> it's just. I've already said this. Supermodels are born and bred in Africa. And that's just the way it is. If we're talking about biracial people, European and African blood makes the best mix. Everything else is kind of like this off breed of ugliness, like ice spice. It's gross. Mm, whatever. Hate me.